Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another one. Of course, I'm sitting thinking. Happy birthday to all my family and friends. Um, enjoy your day. Enjoy everything that you're doing today. I'm, I'm out here enjoying this lovely weather. Just trying to sit back and relax and enjoy myself. My tan is going away, so my face going to look kind of mm mm mm. But I'm going to work around all of that. I have on my little Nas shirt, you guys. Look at this. Waiting to have lunch. Today. I don't love this shirt. But that's what my advertisement because I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm um, about to go and have lunch with an old friend since the 90s. The 90s. The early 90s. You know what I'm saying? Not 96. Probably even the 80s. No, I think it was just maybe the 80s. You know what I'm saying? She hit me up. We always stay in contact. We just go back and forth. We did a lot of things together. I'm just so excited to be in her presence as well as I'm quite sure she would say the same to y'all, but I don't know if she was recording. But um, I'm very excited to be, you know, out and about just having some me time you know girls time girls day out enjoying ourselves is about to go down you know she's a new grandma i'm already a grandma so we definitely going to have some you know some tea today um but i'm just sitting here waiting chilling, like, just waiting but i had some school for you guys um as you can see thanks to my daughter she hooked me up this weekend for her shining i don't know why but Yes, my daughter hooked me up. My daughter hooked me up. Thank you, Jasmine. I love you. So we had a little day out yesterday. We was running through all the stores like always. We run through the stores, honestly. If she can't run, she'd be frustrated. If she stands still, she'd be like, do we really need this stuff? Why do we? Why is we even purchasing this stuff, Mom? Why? 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 And I'm like, chill. The line is moving. We're going to get there. We're going to get what we want, what we need. And that's that. So that's how they went yesterday. I had all my grandbabies over. It was such a good... I mean, for me, being a grandma and a mom, I enjoy being with my kids and my grandkids. It's like an A1 for me. Like, that makes my day. That makes me happy. That makes me complete. Um, I just enjoy it. So, today is another day. I'm quite sure she's going to lay back and chill and, you know, relax and do a little something. I ran through the malls today. Actually, we went, I went to two malls today. Um, then I happened to have to exchange something from this other store. So I met this nice gentleman. I'm telling you guys, I think my presence is needed sometime because I'm always around good energy people or people who went through something and they realized they went through it and they're like, let me tell you what happened. So this guy, he worked in the stores that um, me and my daughter went to and we purchased something. Very nice guy. You know, he took us. He didn't have to, you know, and he was like, oh, you know, they try to say they fired me, but you know, I got laid off, but I got a job interview. So the first thing I did was encourage him to say, you know what? I wish you the best of luck. You know, um, I'll be praying for you that you get this job because, you know, nobody needs to be without you know what i'm saying so and he's a nice person very nice guy but then he leaned in to try to um kiss me on the cheek but i was like oh mm -mm, mm. it's still COVID, honey it's still COVID. so we pump this boom you know wish you the best keep doing what you do do how you do it and, and just keep moving forward that was basically it but um he was a nice guy and i I admire his dress code because it was like so different. Like he was, he's different. So you know, I just pray and wish that young man that next time I see him, he's gonna tell me that he has that job at that airport that he applied for. And then um, when I got in the mall, I went to go purchase something. So the lady was like. I don't want to overcharge you for something because I know it's on sale. I was like, it is. You guys, I did not look to see if it was a sales product or not. I honestly didn't even look at the tag. I just was like, look, I want it. This is what I came for. Let me purchase it before I come back and it's not here. God was on my side. That ticket literally said $7. Just to show you guys that I'm not bullcrapping with y'all. Because I know sometimes 
people be online and you just be like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you saying? I wish I could have pulled the beast out of my back, but it's in the back. I feel like reaching in the back. Maybe I'll show it. I feel like reaching in the back. But it literally said $7. I was like, thank you, God. Like, God is good. God is good. Give him the glory. No matter where you are, what you're doing. Whether you're having a good day or a bad day. Because, you know, they said where it rains, it pours. But there's always sunshine at the end of that tunnel. Trust me. I, I mean, it's plenty of days that I had rainy days. But then God was like, you know what? Look up, Yolanda. The sun is coming. And I was like, I just don't see it. It's too far. I want to touch it. I want to be able to know it. But then I started knowing and started acknowledging that you got to have patience. Patience is time. And everything else will work out. Trust me. You know, if anybody could tell y'all anything more than what I'm telling you. Uh -uh. And then my son, he had a friend who came from out of town and you know he went out had him a good time did whatever you know my while he was doing that my daughter she's out on spring break now one kid is out and the other kid is gonna go so my daughter was out this week so next week will be my son's um spring break so you know, i'm looking forward to not I, I usually drive both of them so that gave me a little break so now i'm just doing one and one so it gives me a little leeway to do a little bit more stuff than you know normal whatever but besides that my grandbaby he's getting big you guys he's getting so big i can't wait to show you guys photos like he is getting so big and what else i had to share with you guys um it's been so much going on. Happy Easter. Um, happy Passover. Um, all the good holidays. Just just be happy and free, you guys. Just live life, you know. I'm due to go on another vacay soon. And I, I'm just tired of wasting my time on... Wasting my energy on negativity draining me and taking the best of me when I'm trying to move forward instead of going backwards. I have to I had to train myself to say, uh uh stop. Mm uh -uh. no devil, you will not steal my joy. No, you will not. I will do it with a smile and continue to live life because it's too short. Too short, too short, too short. And honestly I just don't have the patience, the time, the energy to engage in anything that's not worth me having. If you were not paying my rent, my bills, my, you know, my rent, my bills, paying for me in general, then, you know, you're a non-factor. Keep that in mind, because I'm going to move forward. My mama taught me why. Well. She said, you know what? You got to live for you and not for everybody. Because I, I was living for somebody for a minute, you know? And all do I expect. I did. But now I'm starting to realize that I want to live for me. And my kids and my grandkids and focus. Stay a focused woman. Stay stay done to all of this and and oh and i did fast last night you guys i should have recorded but i kept saying every time i wanted to record to be honest with you guys it was like a moment i'm quite sure you guys be feeling the same way like i want to get on camera but i don't but then it's like you guys probably want to see that type of moment <laughs> which is weird but true some people want to see a person like down and out and, and going through something and then they get had something to say. Even though I really didn't go through nothing. I was just not feeling like getting on camera to tell y'all what happened. Because everything was good that happened. You know, I went to work. We actually had some good dis good discussions about being a business owner compared to being an employer and it was like you know everybody want to be rich 
I mean, nobody wants to be poor. Everybody want to have more than enough to enjoy life and do what life has to offer. But then it's like, what more could you do for yourself to, to make those millions? Like, it's so many talented people out here. It's so much going on. It's so much to be shared. It's so much information. Like, any information that I'm going to get, I'm going to share with you guys. Like, I feel as though that nothing should be left behind. I think everybody should be informed. And it's up to you whether you take it and use it, you know. But you should be informed of a lot of stuff that's going on out here. And, and things that can help others. So, that's what I'm here for. I'm I'm tired of just, like, some people's like, I don't want to hear people just talk, 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 talk. I could talk all night long. But that doesn't mean that you're going to listen. That doesn't mean you're going to do. Now, if I tell you something negative, you probably will listen. You probably will do it because it's a lie. But if I give you good advice or if I have good energy, you don't want to listen. So, I'm just learning to just do that. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not even close to it. You know what I'm saying? I just try to do my best and try to be my best. That's all I could do. Because nowadays, everybody's dying. If people not dying, people leaving each other, you know, the 20 years you want to separate. Because, you know, some people just get tired. You know, they get tired. Like, you want to stay there. You want to engage in certain things. But then there's some things you just want to be like, yo, enough is enough. When could I say I had enough? You know? So, I just want to engage all you single moms, married people, girlfriend or girlfriend, boyfriend or boyfriend, whatever your, whatever your preference is. Um, just live for you. I think when you live for you, everything else that revolves around it would be good because it's like you let the negativity go away. You're going to still fight them demons. I am, I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to always fight them demons. Them demons going to always come knocking at your door because you're always going to be tested. That's why they say we have a testimony. The people that's always tested are the people who has a good testimony because you know why we are tested to the limits that we're like, wait a minute. When things going good, that man above want us, wants us to know, like, things could turn. Let's make sure that you're strong enough to handle what's going to turn your way. Fast, pray, keep yourself around good people, leave the negative around, leave that negativity somewhere else, throw it away, put it under some sheets, bury it in your backyard, you know, put it under your bed. Actually, if it's negative, don't even leave it in your household. Throw it out. Cleanse your house. Throw it out. Cleanse your house. Because people be thinking, oh, you're crazy. Why you don't um do the things that you... Because I'm, I'm not a person that do what people want me to do. Because I always felt like I'm a leader and not a follower. Because if I followed a lot of people, I wouldn't be here today. To be honest. But I feel like I'm a leader. I feel like that if I could lead by my own examples, I made a lot of bad decisions and good decisions in life, but I learned from them. So I feel like when somebody come in my presence and then they expect for me to do what they want me to do, mm -mm, I don't work like that. You know, I, I feel like I work around things. I work to do things and to better things. Like, if you're not there to do either or and you stuck in this one one line or you t making turns that I don't want to make, I'm not going to make it with you. Simple as that. If you think you're going to hit me up and be like, oh, girl, let's do X, Y, Z. If you're not for my good, I'm not. Um, Like I said from the beginning, I'm going to say to the end, I'm a grandmother, I'm a mother. I enjoy my life for who I am. I'm going to continue to live life. I'm going to continue to record. I'm finally going to do a TikTok, you guys. So if you want to follow me on my TikToks, little skits here and there, you will see. I'm just trying to give you guys as much as I can give you of me when I can give it to you. So I, I said this year I was going to be more 
more aggressive on my channel and start showing you guys more so that's what i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna start cooking a little bit of what i like to cook what i like to eat just so that you guys can see that don't necessarily mean you want to eat it or you want to cook it but if you want to watch my channel and keep seeing what, what i have to upload and what what i have to show stay tuned click like and subscribe stay blessed throw the negativity away that is my title Throw the negativity away. Peace.